Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today um, I am off to Vintex to a shop to go and look for a laptop because my laptop just broke. Well, it hasn't broken. It's about to die because you guys don't know, but yesterday I was trying to upload one of my videos and in the midst of uploading my video, um, the internet just went off and I wasn't able to access anything for a while, which is why my video went up a little bit late. Um, and now I'm really scared that it will just conk out on me one day. It's quite an old laptop actually. Um, and so I'm really frightened that it will cut out on me so I'm going to go to the shop today to get a new laptop even though I wasn't really financially prepared to get a new laptop now I'm gonna go and get one because I'm just I'm just like if it conks out I'm, I'm, I'm finished I'm completely finished so I'm just gonna go do that now I'm in an Uber at the moment and my nose is really tickling me there must be pollen in the air or something because every time there's pollen my nose starts disturbing me it just feels like there's feathers or something on my nose I don't know but it's disturbing me but anyway yeah but I'm gonna go and see if I can get myself a laptop because I've needed one for ages and I haven't done it um, I've just been postponing it just because money was needed elsewhere but hey it's one of those things so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today and hopefully I can get it today for a good deal I'm looking for a deal so let's see what's gonna happen yeah my hair's doing something here I don't know but anyway guys I just got my new MacBook here so I'm really really excited so I've got the macbook pro the latest the latest one um oh, my phone's ringing i'm waiting for my bolt hold on so i'm just about to get into the bolt hold on let me just get into this car Ugh. okay yeah so now i'm heading back home that shop is absolutely amazing i bought a laptop from there before it's called get for less it's on spintex road right by where the the first china mall was um so if you're looking for camera equipment they're really good so they have like they have all the camera stands they have the road mic they have um, the ring light they have everything in fact I was quite impressed because they've changed the shop a bit since I was last year. they've definitely upgraded and they've got much more equipment so when I'm ready to buy a camera because I need a new camera because it's always good to have multiple cameras I'm gonna go there because they're good and they're reasonably priced and you can negotiate with them as well which hey who doesn't like a little bit of negotiation so that's it so I can't wait to get home and open up this bad boy and um, start work and I can start editing and doing all my other bits and pieces so yeah, I'm really 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 excited so, yeah. <laughs> okay guys so today I'm going to just be very quickly making some condensed milk sweets as I said in my last video where I did cooking although I'm not really doing cooking videos I'm not really sure what's going on here I showed you this and I said I was gonna make some sweets they're like toffee sweets so I'm gonna be doing that today and my mum used to make these all the time when we were younger and I absolutely love them and I haven't made these probably for about a long time at probably I'd say about five years I haven't made them for so I always see them on the street in Ghana they sell them on the roadside but I like the way that I do it basically <laughs> because you've got to get the texture right so if you cook it for too long they become too hard and if you undercook it they're too soft and you don't really get I don't know you kind of lose the richness of it I don't know so you've got to get it you've got to time it perfectly and there is no set time you just got to know when when the thing is cooked and when it's time to take it off so that's what I'm gonna do right now so it does take a bit of time to kind of the mixing is really boring so basically I'm just about to start and what I'm gonna do is I've got some um, butter right here which has kind of like melted a bit so I'm just gonna put a little bit of butter as I said before I never measure anything so I'm just gonna put my butter but I'm gonna put a little bit more because I think that may not be enough when you put the butter in it, it also helps the toffee from sticking. And I'm just gonna let that melt. Once that is melted, then I will pour the good stuff in there. Just let that really, really melt very, very well. And also, as you're doing this, sometimes you might find that it starts to stick. You can always add more butter later on if you haven't added enough. I think actually the butter gives it a nice flavor when you add it to the condensed milk. So hey, okay, so I'm about to pour the condensed milk in. You can see it's really, thick and creamy. Guys, I've got serious skill because I'm doing this, I'm filming plus I'm pouring this with one hand and I need to get the rest out of here because it always gets stuck and I'm not losing that. So the key to this and to not getting it wrong is to keep mixing and keep it on a low heat. If you don't, what will happen is the bottom will start to very quickly burn and you'll start getting brown lumps. You don't want that. So you mustn't take your eyes off this for a moment. And the more it gets cooked, the darker it will become in complexion. I absolutely love to add nutmeg to this. It just gives it, I don't know, some kind of kick. Like I said, I never measure anything, so I'm just throwing some nutmeg in there and hoping for the best. I just feel like it brings a whole nother dimension to these sweets. Like I can't really eat them without nutmeg. That's how deep it is for me. I'm just gonna keep this going. And my fire is obviously, I think it's a bit high actually. I'm gonna lower my fire a bit because I don't want it to cook too quick. 
Glee. This is the boring part now because basically you kind of like almost made them. You just got to, there's nothing else to add, nothing else to really do. You just got to stay here and keep mixing. So sometimes when you're by the fire and you're doing this, it gets kind of boring. Okay, so you can see that it's starting to firm up a bit. It's not ready yet, but you can see it's not so liquidy anymore. It's more like a, like a dough, I guess you could say. So we'll just keep mixing a little bit longer and then I'll try and gauge when it's ready. There you are. The darker it gets, obviously, the more you cook it, the darker it gets. You can see it's got a bit darker and it's even more um, kind of like of a lump than it was before. I'm still gonna go a little bit more though because I think this would still be too soft. So I'm gonna to continue to mix a little bit more and then we'll see. I think it's almost ready. I'm gonna take it off the fire because I don't want it to get too hard because otherwise it gets a bit too much for the teeth. You know, I don't, want, I don't like it too much. So I'm going to take this out. Turn the fire there. Oh, let's put it straight in there. Now, with this thing, yeah, you have to be really fast because it sets really, really quickly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start doing this as quickly as possible because it is going to go rock hard. And this is also the worst part. This is the part that I hate because it's so hot and you've got to do what you've got to do while it's so hot. Okay, so I've just finished. Um, as you can see, all done, all done, all done. I absolutely love those. I just actually tried one and um, they're exactly how I want it. I want them not too hard so that they get too stuck in your teeth and I don't want them too soft either. So I think I've got the perfect consistency. I'm officially sweating because I'm so hot here in this kitchen. But yeah, it's done. And I guarantee this will probably last about an hour in this house. I should have really done two and I didn't. I did one tin. Um, it won't last very long, but yeah. So I'm really happy with that. So I'm super excited. And just to let you guys know as well, because I didn't say it earlier. In fact, no, I won't say it now. Yeah, so yeah, I'm just really super excited about that. Um, the key to doing these is you have to be very quick, otherwise they get hard very, very quickly. So even though it's hot, you still got to roll it out and cut it and all of that stuff. And yeah, that'll be done. So that's it. So super happy. Um, there we go. Just a quick update with the laptop. I've got my laptop. I'm super, super, super happy with it because yesterday um, I had to edit a video and it was so quick to do it. It normally takes me to edit, uh, to sorry, have the video exported. It takes me like two hours on my old laptop. This time, the video uploaded with it, sorry, exported within like 45 minutes or something like that, which is super, super, super fast. So I'm really, really happy with it. And I can't wait to really put it through a very, very, very good test. Um, but so far it's been fantastic for me. It's nice and small and neat because it was a 13 inch that I got. So I'm happy with that. So more videos headed your way. And let me know actually in the comment section, do you guys kind of like enjoy these videos aside from the building? Obviously the building is still there, but I just thought I would mix things up a bit and make things a little bit more versatile. Let me know what you think. Let me know um, how you feel about these videos. Not necessarily cooking, because I'm not really teaching anyone to cook. I'm just kind of going about my day. But you know what I mean? Just doing videos outside of building. So I'm really trying hard not to like dribble because the toffees are so sweet. They're really, really nice. If you've never tried to make these, I challenge you today to go and try and make these for yourself. They're absolutely delicious. 
but anyway i think that is quite enough for me for today um if you haven't already subscribed please hit the subscribe button for me hit the notification bell don't forget to do me a favor and like comment and share this video for me so it can go out to a wider audience okay guys until next time i am out notify